Good morning again. Uh, we'll get back to the next part, uh, boring out uh, the handles and uh, prepping them for attachment to the, the shanks. Uh, the clock is sticking <laughs> you know, in the background there. So we'll do the same again and uh, we will, uh, once I find the thing that I'm looking for, which should be here, I you know, have misplaced it, but I've already made the hole in the top off the antler, which is in the vise and sitting here ready for us, but uh, I was going to put it in and show you, but you, you've got it from the last time anyway. So I've now got the, a 12mm metal drill fitted in the, 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 the bit, sorry, fitted in the drill, and so we're ready to go. Slip it onto the slow speed to start and gently lower it down into the antler. And once you've got it at the point, you, you need to be careful here really to get exactly where you want to be and it needs to be slow. So nice and easy does it. So just gently, gently lower it down. As you see, I've got a bit of blue tape marked on for my stop situation. You'll we'll keep it on the first speed because you don't want too much speed with this. It's very, very easy to bore. And so you just take it nice and gently. You give it a hard time. And you see the tape slowly is reaching the point and that's basically it enough there. Gently stop the drill, bring it out and that's it. Right, uh, that's the whole prep done it. And as you'll probably see, I'm a, I'm a fan of kinks and bends and various other things so I don't really worry too much. I, I'll match things to, to whatever I fancy at the time. That's probably why I don't sell as many as I probably should but oh, it's more for fun than anything else. Gently tap out. That's good, that's good. Just give it a little check in terms of thing we would put the pencil in, take a little measure on it. You want it to be slightly longer, the, 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 the hole slightly longer than the dowel. And so check it against that. Yep, we've got that just under an eighth of an inch longer, that'll do fine. And so I'm not a big fan of the smell of of antler and horn and all that kind of thing, but uh, we'll do it anyway. That's it. Uh, chucking it down there this morning again. We'll put this, the cutting block back in because it's just easier for me. Give me a little platform in front of you to mix things up. We're going to use Aerodite on this situation uh, because because that's the, the situation that, uh, first of all, we're going to check it and make sure that uh, it approaches the shank in the right way. And we can get a turn situation on it to see just, and see how the joint goes. God, that's bloody good. That is good. Yeah, I couldn't have do, done much better than that. If I tried. <laughs> yeah, it worked well that. It worked well. There's a little bit of shaping on the, the antler itself uh, and a tiny little bit on the shank which we will get away. But as you can see, uh, that's what you're looking to achieve. Uh, you can see it's got a bit of dog leg in it. I'll give that a little bit more heat and, and really rump it up on the vise. Uh, overnight and let it settle um, and it will probably take a, a, another bit out of it. I've straightened it for some reason it's got one down here but I don't worry too much about it because at the end of the day you know there's always somebody that likes that kind of thing. Straight sticks are they're nice but they're straight, they're all straight, they don't no character really to them. Something with a bit of shape and a bit of thing, I feel it's, it's, it blends itself to uh, 
bit different altogether. But anyway, we'll crack on. Right, now, a bit of fire, carry bits of spare lights on and that kind of thing for mixing the Araldite situation on. This is the, the last of the Araldite of that situation that I've got. I should need to get some more stuff, actually. I don't use that much of it, so... Um, and it comes to tubes. You can get these syringe type things, but uh, I haven't tried them in the years. And the, the idea is bloody brilliant, absolutely brilliant, but fucking doesn't sound. Oh, sorry, language. At times it doesn't seem to bloody work. Uh, and certainly not for me, anyway. Maybe it does for somebody else, and, but certainly not for me. But anyway, what we're looking at, I'll probably use what's left on the, the, the tubes here, is, is work the, the resin out first. And push it out on a strip along the, the Lexan. I'll just use up what's left in the tube here. It'll be enough to do it. And basically gets it used up as such. Straight into the bin is that. And then on with the hardener. When you're trying to use it, you try and use them equal amounts. Um, your tube, that way your tubes go down the same, same amount, uh, equal strips. And keep them separate to start with. It gives you a little bit of time to... Uh, just gives you a little bit of time. Time's a wonderful thing. Hoping to get out a walk here later, shortly. It's uh, been one of these mornings again where it's chucking it bloody down and uh, oh, stop me for getting away, but we've, we've got the Outlander people on board nowadays. Just mix the two of them together. I use one of these kind of spatula type things, uh, crafty things and whatnot, until you get an even consistency on it. Yeah, we've got the Outlander people on board right now. They're busy filming down the road, and uh, I'm afraid we've got security everywhere. You can't come here, you can't go there, you can't do this, you can't do that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Of course, of course. Now, in some situations with this, with certain glues, you need to provide a little bit of, uh, certainly for the expansive glues, you need to provide a, a little escape mechanism. A lot of people talk about putting a, a groove up the tenon, but I don't do that. I put, I tend to go up the, the handle and put a small pilot hole through, just a, a small thing. So if, there's, if, if I feel that it's actually not going to match, not going to go together, it's stuck, it tends to push and go against it, just to allow things to happen, a little, a little bit of air to get in and stuff to get out, kind of thing. But usually with the... Uh, this stuff, it, uh, it's alright, it doesn't tend to bother much. Anyway, we just take it on the end now and feed it into the, the hole. you find that the 12mm hole for the 12mm tenon, <laughs> the actual drill bit when you're cleaning it out back and forward tends to uh, create enough of a gap to allow the two to fit together. If not, you basically just uh, run the drill up and down until you in, in a slight movement, sideways movement, and it'll create enough for it to do it. We'll push that in. And we're now ready to put them together. Just making sure there's a little bit on the edge. Just going to shank over and scrape up what's left there. You don't want a lot of this stuff getting into the, the shank situation because it's not easy to clean off at all. The other glues are, are not bad but this stuff, no, it tends to uh, cause problems. And it goes really hard. So you really don't want a lot of spillage and a lot coming over it. And what you do now is present the two of them together 
Now you've, we've got a match on it, so we've just got to gently push it in, push it in, push it in, and turn it at the same time so as that you're getting a good coating on both the inner wall of the handle and the outer wall of the, the uh, and that's basically it. The bell rod is wrong. <laughs> so that's that's it. That's it. You've got the two of them together now, and uh, as you can see, once that's set, it will be a solid. Right? Uh, we will just use the other end of the spatula thing and basically guide some of this hardener off. It's just slightly overspill on it. We'll put it off to the side. I gotta move on here. Well that's it, you can see how the two of them go together and uh, very successfully it has been too. What I tend to do with it now is I tend to put a bit of gaffer tape, I've got black gaffer tape that I if I remember I cut it a little before I started, since then I'm not bugging about. But with this I'm not bad because with it, it, it takes ages for this cell date to set uh, to its full strength. Whereas the other the expansive stuff it's on the go bloody immediately just about like, you know. And I'll just look at where make sure I've got the, the match where I want it and then just basically tap it on. And a little run round about, it's really just to hold it. I don't need to worry about it. An upward movement on this is just basically a hold it in position. And we will leave it at that for now and uh, get back to you for the next part. And the next part is basically taking it off and, and looking at it, looking at the, the length, the viral situation uh, and stud situation and uh, treatment and various other things. I'm going to also going to do the wooden handle, but that'll probably, we'll get that with the next one. Okay, thanks very much. We'll catch you again.